Yo, 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 what's up? What is up? I am doing the black booktuber tag. What's good? What's going on? What's what's the tea? What's popping? <laughs> it's about to get real black up in here. It's gonna be black, y'all. Like black, y'all. Like black and black and like black, y'all. What's good, my niggas? What's up? What is the tea? We about to do this black booktubers book tag. I am excited about this. I am so excited because I'm seeing so many black creators that I hadn't seen before that have been here for so long and because you know racism and how it affects the algorithm has kind of kept these black people not easily visible to me and I'm just loving that I'm able to see them now more than ever before. I am such a white girl. That's why like, I really talk like white girl. But I'm just excited. Like, I'm so excited about the black. Like, I'm seeing more black male booktubers. Like, I'm finding more black male booktubers. Like, when I thought it was just Justin, I was only seeing Ben. Who else was I seeing? I was only seeing, like, Troy, Towel. I was only seeing, like, Monty. But I'm finding more black male booktubers there that are out there, you know? And they're just more black booktubers, whether non-binary, black women, it, it, black booktubers all over the place. So I'm excited and I'm loving this tag. It was created by Reading Black. I love it that she created this tag. It's making black booktubers even more visible, ma making it a lot easier for us to find black booktubers. I was tagged by Oshale of Oshi Reads and by Zoe's All Booked. Those are the two people who I know definitely tagged me. I don't know if anybody else tagged me. I have a playlist of the black booktuber tag. I have to watch it. So if anybody else tagged me in there retroactively, just know that I appreciate it. I still have to watch that playlist of the black booktuber tag. I'm excited about it. There's so many black booktubers that are on there and I definitely want more black booktubers within the community to do it so that they can be found so that if there are, other, if there are black people looking for black booktubers or just anybody looking for black booktubers, they can type in the into search black booktubers and at least this black booktuber tag is gonna come up. As a matter of fact, when I was searching for the prompts for this, I decided to go search black booktuber tag and I was just seeing so, like I've heard the complaint from a lot of other black booktubers and just black people who are looking for black booktubers and they can find black booktubers before. They look at black booktubers, they're all they're seeing is like white people or just non-black people. I looked up the black booktuber tag, at least just that. It was just so, it was just so amazing just to see black people down the line. Just like so many of it, like, occasionally there were like a few non-black people and I think partly because those are people that are shouting out black booktubers, which is greatly appreciated, but it's, a way to actually be able to find more black booktubers within the community and I definitely want more of that. I want us to be more visible, more easily found, and we can all connect and communicate and interact. We're not a monolith, so we're not all gonna get along. Well, I would say we're not all gonna get along, but we're not all gonna be on the same page about everything, but at the same time, we're gonna still be able to know that as black people, we have each other's backs, especially in this community, and we would be able to take care of each other when something is going down with any of us within the community. We could still be able to take care and help each other and educate each other and uplift each other and then be there for each other within the community. And I want that so bad, I'm excited. I am so excited. Come on, like, so let me get to this already. Number one, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know what? Mind your business, okay? Okay. I'm gonna answer it, you know. But no, seriously, I'm supposed to open up a little bit more. I was born in Trinidad and I came to the US in 2000. I try my best to be a positive and supportive and caring person. I try. I don't always think I am good at it, but I'm trying. That's I'm trying and trying to do my best. I am a writer and I ain't been doing much of that lately. I've been trying to read so that I can be a better writer and I've been trying to come up with better ideas and better stories so that I can tell stories that need to be told, that I really want to tell, that I'm excited about telling, that I want to read, that I 
want other people to read. I like listening to lots of music and different kinds of music. And one of the most important things is I love books and shows with drama and mess and black gayness and queerness and LGBTQIA plus themes and topics. But just know I don't like the mess and drama in my life. I'm not here for that. That's not my thing. So that's a side, okay? But I love it in a book. That's I'm here for that. Just give me a good book with some good dra drama and some good mess. And, you know, make it queer, make it gay. I'm here for it all day. Number two, who's a black author you love that a lot of people don't know about? For me, that's easy. It's James Earl Hardy. He is one of my favorites. He's my favorite just just off of B-Boy Blues. Like, that is, like, my favorite book. I love B-Boy Blues. I will continue to talk about this as much as I possibly can. I love B-Boy Blues by James Earl Hardy. It is the first time I feel like I've ever seen myself in a character when I read a book. So, I love B-Boy Blues. One of my favorites. And also, Cat Cole. I love Cat Cole. She is a romance author. I read Love Effects and Sweet Perfection by her for Blackathon 2020 and the Black Loveathon. I loved what she did with both those books. I just, I was just so entertained and I loved the drama and I just loved it so much. I thought it was so good. Number three, favorite book about the Black experience. I don't think there's like any one favorite Black experience, book about Black experience that I have. I have a few. Definitely B-Boy Blues and The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier are two books that are two of my favorite books about the Black experience. But also... Midnight, a companion follow-up to The Coldest One Terror. This was a great book that I enjoyed about the Black experience. It is a story about a like a black family who immigrates from an African country to America. And I'm looking forward to rereading this again to really engage with this black experience again. Another one I enjoyed was the was Black by Kwanzaa Sejiofo and Tim Smith III. It is a comic book bind up of the series Black. It is a story about black people being the only people that have superpowers in this world and they are being hunted, hunted and killed for it. Although it is science fiction, fantasy, it does come from a core of like the black experience, at least the black American experience. And in Kindness of Ghosts, although this too is also science fiction set in the future, it does touch on slavery and that black experience in America but through a science fiction, scientific lens. And also, Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson. It is another great book about the Black experience. It touches on a few historical moments in American history, but definitely in Black history. Number four, favorite book by a Black author. Again, I gotta say it. B-Boy Blues and The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. Like, these are my favorites. Done deal, period. A year or two ago, all over BookTube, everybody was talking about what their brand was, and their brand was usually a book that they always pushed. And honestly, I think these two books are my brand at this point. Like, B-Boy Blues and The Coldest Winter Ever done they are like currently my brand at the moment I, they'll always forever be my brand but for now i am pushing these books hardcore i do think people other more people should read them i definitely want more people to read them like i feel like these are like black american literary classics it's like not just black american literary classics, they're just classics period they are a part of the literary canon in my opinion done it would they they are already emblazoned into the literary canon period like the world literary canon period done we done period my favorites done okay number five recommend a black and queer book okay i will definitely recommend b-boy blues by james Earl hardy because it is black and queer and i love it so much and it's just a, one of the most beautiful romances that i've ever read in my life and i aspire to have a romance as, as as much as very similar to this as possible because I want my own Rahim to lick on my neck and such and do such things, you know what I'm saying or whatever. Anyway, I also recommend All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. I recently started reading this and I'm loving it. I am finding so much to tab and so much to relate to and connect to in this book like this book is actually kind of bringing up memories for me from like my childhood 
and just like my experiences and making me kind of assess those experiences. So I definitely recommend this book. I, and I feel like a lot of people need to read this book, especially within the black community, to understand queer folks within the black community and understand their experiences and how some of the heteronormative gender policing ideals that black people have had, how it is affecting the LGBTQIA plus members of the black community. It's kind of in a way hindering and kind of holding us as a black community back by us kind of like marginalizing a section, a demographic within our black community so much. So I definitely suggest this as a book that everybody should read everybody but especially within the black community to definitely read it for queer people to find some connection to it black queer people to find that connection to it but also for black people to understand the queer demographic within the black community like i would love that so like i definitely recommend this and i also recommend an unkindness of ghosts by river solomon this is another great black and queer book that has a lot of great queer black representation but it's also a book where i feel if you're not really into a slave narrative but you still kind of want to read one it is a great way to deal with a slave narrative but also deal with it in this science fiction world that's just not so grounded in like like the reality of slavery but it does tackle the reality of slavery it, it it balances that like this book is it's deep i think it's one of the best books that i've read especially since it has so much diverse and effortless representation and although i haven't read this yet i'm super excited about it but i definitely want to suggest the sorcerer of will deeps because from my understanding this is like black fantasy and it's kind of queer so not even kind of queer it's gonna it's gonna be gay and fantasy and it's black so i'm just like oh give it to me i am looking forward to reading this so bad i'm hoping i can read this soon number six recommend a book with a black person on the cover okay so i got quite a few books for that i have midnight by sister soldier i love this cover i think this is one of the best covers i've ever seen with a black person on the cover it's just so well lit just you regal and black and it's just like prominently showing a young black man in just like such glory and beauty also all boys aren't blue this is a uh, illustration of george m johnson i love this cover i think it's so beautiful also b-boy blues of course the source of will deeps i will include that as well also i love the cover for let's go swimming on doomsday i think this is such although this is not written by a black author it is a white woman that wrote this I do love the cover for this. It's such a beautiful cover. Also, Quinn Credible, Quest to be the Best. Young black boy on the cover. Superhero, all that. A Hurricane Child by Kaysen Collender. A Taste of Honey, the follow-up to The Sorcerer of Will Deeps by Kai Ashante Wilson. And Binti by Nettie Okorafor. There is also Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Also, Shoulda Coulda Woulda by Dwight Allen O'Neill. And Pet by Akweke Amezi. And also, Magnifique Noir by Brianna Lawrence. Also, Excellence by Brandon Thomas. This first comic book issue has black, young black man on the cover. You know, I think, yeah, also this one, black woman on the cover black person on the cover black man on the cover and black woman on the cover come on come through and then the trade bind up of all these comics black people on the cover i'm excited to read this i need to read this already number seven recommend a book by a black author that makes you happy <laughs> chill i don't know again i am going to have to just go right back to b-boy blues and the coldest one ever by sister soldier although this one it has some intense and very very like hardcore moments but it's not like super super hardcore it can get a little dark at times but because of some of the silly decisions that she makes it makes me happy because it makes me laugh 
and it makes me laugh at her because I'd be like, girl, you are so smart, but you be doing some dumb shit. Yes, and definitely B-Boy Blues by James Earl Hardy. This definitely makes me happy. It's such a beautiful old romance. There's some 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 sexy scenes in here. Get you hot and bothered, you know. Make you like shake the top of your shirt off because yeah, like sis, my bosom, it's sweating right now. What's up? And honestly, all boys aren't blue is also making me kind of happy because I it's making me happy because a lot of what he talks about in here his experiences are so similar to mine that it, it it's giving me some validation about my experiences growing up and i appreciate george m johnson for this book so much and i definitely definitely want more people to read this i want this this needs to be required reading for a lot of people it just needs to be required reading for a lot of people to really help them kind of understand the black queer experience and to make a lot of adjustments and changes in how we are connecting and relating and treating black queer kids as they're coming up and giving them a better life going forward and not saddling them and burdening them with so much trauma about their identity i love this book a lot and I recommend it hardcore. Number eight, recommend some black booktubers. Okay, so uh, this is, it's, it's, I have cut, cut quite a bit of a list here. So I've been definitely diving deep into finding as many other black booktubers that I don't know and watching their content and reaching out and interacting with them because I definitely want to boost their engagement, make sure they have their comments going off, make sure that their retention, time and retention is, is definitely going for them so that they could get some growth, get some more views on their videos, get some more views on their channel, get some more view, get some more subscriptions, get to get more eyeballs, the algorithm pushing them so that they're like more eyeballs can see them and click them and watch their videos and comment on them and like engage with them. Because there are so many amazing and talented and diverse black booktubers out here and they need to have some shine. They really need to have some shine. We need to be seeing more of the, just an array of black booktubers out here just being visible within the community. Because that is one thing I will say with all these booktubers that I'm about to shout out, go check out their content and watch their videos from beginning to end. You, if, if, you, if it takes you like three videos to know before you're gonna subscribe to somebody, do that watch their videos but definitely watch it from beginning to end so that they can get their time and retention on their videos so that even if you don't subscribe to their videos even if you don't comment the algorithm is at least picking up some engagement that people are still watching their content watching it from the beginning to the end their time and attention time and retention is definitely like going up so that the algorithm will continue to push them up and even if you're not the demographic for them somebody else will find them and somebody else will subscribe and comment to them and be like yo you were a booktuber that i've been looking for and i'm so glad i found you like you like give these booktubers your time even if you're not like gonna fully pay attention make sure that the video like let the algorithm like register that this person's videos have been watched by someone who clicked on it like please watch their videos and give them that time and retention please thank you i appreciate it i want book black booktubers to grow and to thrive within the community it has been too long since black booktubers have had to be like they're trying to struggle and scrape and survive to make it up and to make it further up in the in the booktube community and now we're having an opportunity to grow and to be seen more in the community and i want us to continue to grow it don't mean that we want to like just completely take over the community and it's just gonna be us and we're gonna push everybody else out but we want equal equitable justified levels within the community like more marginalized communities being visible within the community so some of the newer ones that i have found like the locked booktician i have been seeing her on twitter and she's been tweeting and and, and engaging with people in, in on twitter and the book community but i've been like oh my gosh i need to watch her videos i need to watch her videos so i watch her videos and she's so adorable i think she's in louisiana possibly new orleans i know she's doing like a tag about new orleans i like her i think she's so adorable i think she's so cute she's so cool and she's i think she's learning um 
Uh, she might be learning Russian. I think she's re- she's learning like a uh, uh, Eastern European language, and I'm just like, go off, sis. Become a polyglot, sis. Get your life, mama. Do your thing. She out here. She's doing her thing. She's so measured in the way she speaks. And I appreciate her for that. Because y'all are seeing me right now. And the way I'm talking. I'm just like all over the goddamn place. All of these edits that you're seeing. I just cutting every goddamn minute. The book Lactician, she's very measured in the way she speaks and she says what she got to say. She don't put no water in her mouth. She don't bite her tongue and she says what she got to say and I appreciate her and I love her. And I'm sending love out her out to her. Go definitely check her out. Watch her videos. Watch them from beginning to end. Also, my Reese. I love my Reese. Like, I've also found her on Twitter. She'll have these little comments that she says, and I'm like, she is so cute. She's so, like, I saw, like, a clip of one of her videos. I think it was her black booktuber tag, I think she did. And she did, she's just so adorable. She's fun. She's funny. I would, like, I would totally hang out with her. So definitely check out her videos. Watch her from beginning to end. Comment, like, all of that. Give her, give her, you give her your, 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 your engagement and your attention, please do. Thank you. And. And recently, and Jerry of Onyx Pages put me on to Obsidian Text and Tangents. I was already a fan of Sherry from the time she was like, what up fam? And she just came on the screen. She is so sweet with her afro. She is just so sweet. She is the cutest. Like, oh my gosh. She's amazing. She's so cute. Like, I'm already a fan. I'm, I'm standing her like... Like, Sherry's my homegirl already. Am I? Like, she said I'm, like, her homegirl. Like, she said, like, I'm a friend in her head. Like, I'm a homegirl in her head. Like, sis, you my homegirl in my head, too, already. Like, what's up? We got a buddy read and stuff. We gonna be hanging out. We gonna talk. We gonna talk my mom. We gonna talk. So, but definitely check out Sherry. She's new to the community, and she's a radiant light in the community as far as I'm concerned. She is new, but she is radiant within the community. Check out her content, watch her videos from beginning to end. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe, and I feel like you will definitely like her. You will like what she's giving you, and you will definitely want to subscribe. Give her your time and retention. Give her your engagement because she deserves, because black women deserve. Give them your time, give them your money because they deserve okay i saw the booktube dude he commented on some of my videos and i've been like oh i need to go and check out his videos i need to go check out his videos so finally i've been able to check out his videos and he's like the coolest dude and he knows japanese i don't know how much he is into anime and manga but he he likes japanese culture check out his channel he is a super cool dude and i stand i'm a fan what's up joe the black male booktuber demographic is growing it is being more is becoming more visible more seen and i'm excited about that and i definitely want to help like usher them in a lot more and have them be more included in the booktube discussions and not excluded because i do feel like there is a bit of exclusion of black male booktubers it is not intentional but is because it's not expected that black men are a part of the community as much i mean it's been justin been here it's been monty been here but there need but more is coming so we definitely have to be like open arms have them come in but i'm super excited about like how the book two community is growing in the words of s club seven hope for the future like i have so much hope for the future also, I want to shout out my consummate favorites, Tola at Tea Time Tea Reads. That's my good girly. I love her. Also, Deidre at Shade Tree Reads. Definitely check them out. Check out Tola and check out Deidre. Those are my homegirls. I, those are my faves. Also, Natalie at It's Nat's Nook my good girly i love her she's doing her thing okay she's over on her channel it's not snook handling business letting y'all know about these books so definitely check out it's not snook another black male booktuber that i want to shout out is ben reads books he's a black male british booktuber he put me on to the i forgot what trilogy is called but the first book in the trilogy is Rosewater. When he described the trilogy, Rose, the Rosewater trilogy, I'll just call it the Rosewater trilogy for now. I forgot what the name of it is. But when he said it's this futuristic Nigeria, and I forgot what the other elements was, but when he said futuristic Nigeria, I was like, okay, you sold me. I'm about to read this entire trilogy. And you said it's good. 
Give it to me. Give it to me now. Give it to me in my veins right now. I need it. I deserve, okay? I work too hard. I deserve all of the good things. So, Ben, I appreciate you for that recommendation. You're amazing. So I'm looking forward to seeing more content from him. And he is out here providing resources of advice for people who are writers. So definitely check out his channel for his writing advice, but also for his book reviews. Another black male booktuber that I want to shout out is Will at the Book Barrel. I just think he's one of the coolest people. He's very chill. He's just so like radiant. He's, he's always smiling and just like, just this air of like joy and happiness coming from him. Like when he talks, like you just hear the joy and happiness in his voice. Another black male booktuber is Ben at Positive Writer. I met him at what, BookCon? for the first time and he's just he just be chilling in his cut but when you see him on video he's so passionate about what he, he he's into and what he loves and he loves fantasy and he loves a lot he loves young adult fantasy and he loves Bates Motel that is his thing so for all the Bates Motel fans out there definitely check out Ben at Positive Writer because uh, he is going to be your resource for Bates Motel fandom I love Erica that's been my girl for like months for practically a year now like I found her channel I think she's just so sweet and so adorable she's just very very chill and well but you know when she come out she come out she get y'all girls together she's just the coolest and she's so she's amazing she's amazing like check out Erica at the broken spine and then there's also Wendy at book nerd TV she loves reading if you love nonfiction, definitely check her out. She loves reading nonfiction, especially books that are about like teaching you about stuff. Cause one video that I saw from her is one where they talk about the, the, the science of skin. And that was actually kind of fascinating to me because I'm definitely trying to take care of my skin and it would be interesting to read a book. In learning that science, I can also kind of apply that to the care of my skin. <laughs> And another new recent favorite that I found out about was Monet at Life as Monet. She's just so pretty. Like, I love that she's like out here giving you these book reviews, but she's also like giving you makeup fierceness. Like, a, she's giving you a sickening beat with her face and her, her hair is just like all done. And she's giving you just drama and just fabulousness with all of these looks so i am loving monet life is life as monet and i definitely want to see more of her content i'm like i haven't been able to see as much as i like to but i'm looking forward to watching more of it and definitely two of my favorites i gotta shout them out i gotta say say their names because those are my good girlies i love their personalities so much sincerely tahiri at sincerely tahiri i love her a lot I love her so much and she's like a good New York girl. I love her so like I tell you I love my New York girls, okay? Like so, also so um Sharice at Silver Rose Reads. I definitely think she's so adorable, so amazing. Two of my New York girls as well. Tahiri at Sincerely Tahiri and Sharice at Silver Rose Reads. I love them a lot. They're my New York girls. They I love their aesthetics. Like if you watch their videos, their aesthetics are so crisp, so clean, so beautiful, so art and fashion and fabulous. So get into them, get into their videos. Definitely watch them from beginning to end. Comment and like all of that. Give them your engagement. Give them your time and retention. They deserve. And also Jocelyn Reads. I just love her. I love her personality. I love her humor. Her humor is just so, it's it's kind of dry and sarcastic, but I love Jocelyn. Jocelyn is amazing. She's a sweetheart, but she's also very like, like dry humor funny. So I love her a lot. From the time I got, like saw her first video, her personality was everything to me. And also shout out to the, to the, to the, ult, to the ultimate faves, like Naya Reads and Smiles and Mina Reads and Mayana, you know, y'all y'all know them. Y'all know those names. Y'all know those, those faves out there, come on. And number nine, talk about a book by a black author coming in 2020. I don't know many that are coming out. The, the only one that I know of that I'm pretty interested in reading is A Song of Rates and Ruins, but there isn't really anything that I could really think of besides like the Orisha legacies. Like I want the third book in that. I don't know when that's coming out. I don't know if that's gonna come out this year or next year, but I want it. 
I'm looking forward to it. That's the only other book that I'm looking forward to coming out. And number 10, tag some black booktubers. I will go through the list of the booktubers that I already shouted out before, and I will like, whoever hasn't done it yet, I will definitely tag them and tell them like, you have to do this so that you are in the line up of black booktubers to, to, to uh, doing this tag so that you can be found more okay and then you will join my playlist of black booktubers doing the black booktuber tag y'all need to be doing this tag because y'all are black booktubers and y'all need to be seen out in these streets y'all deserve okay you understand so i have fun with this tag definitely comment timestamp anything that resonated with you in this video and i'm not this bitch like fleek the fuck i Okay, okay.